called Scott TV. I find myself with Scott Brown. Okay, Mr. Brown has written a book titled Active Peace, a Mindful Path to a Nonviolent World. Okay, so you're having a meeting here at uh, St. Cyprian's Episcopal Church in Lincolnville. And what can you, uh, what's the message you're trying to convey to those who attend this, this small gathering about the book and the message? Well, it's interesting because this is really my first group where the focus is juvenile justice. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's interesting to me that that hasn't, that the kids, the youth, hasn't been more of a theme for the other three months of my book tour, that it's only now that that's rising to the surface. But we're going to talk about restorative justice and how to, how to bring it deeper, how to make it more transformative and how to use those principles and practices outside of the justice system, outside of schools, and bring them into virtually any social justice issue that we are concerned about, that we work on. Because those principles and practices are so transformative and they're too good to be limited mm -hmm. to the criminal justice system. So we're talking transformation now. What, what kind of transformation would you hope an individual could achieve in the best case scenario? Well, at the individual level, we are being called right now to discover who we really are and what we really need. I mean, things are crazy out there. It's coming to a head. Mm -hmm. And so the calling is large. Mm -hmm. It's time. I mean, it sounds cliche, maybe silly, but it is time to grow up. It's time to grow up personally and collectively. And so I, I bring a particular path that, that cultivates that. It's very much a path of practice, okay. of experiential learning, healing the belief in separateness, which is the root cause of what ails us is not an intellectual exercise. We all, so many of us already know in our minds that we're not separate, but do we really live it? Do we really embody it consistently? Most of us don't. So the learning, the growth is really in feeling it and bringing it, the awareness and the learning into our bodies and moving from a more embodied, more mature place spiritual maturity, psychological maturity, ecological maturity. Oh, wow. So you're here in St. Augustine, what are, how many cities will you visit in this book tour? 50. Wow. And this yeah. is what, number two, number three? This is more like number 30. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and you'll end up, your hometown is? Boulder, Colorado. Okay. All right. Well, wish you the best. I'll probably stay here a little bit and listen. But I thank you for giving me these minutes. And the name of the book, the title of the book is? Active Peace, A Mindful Path to a Nonviolent World. By? G. Scott Brown. All right, thank you. Thank you. The book is called Active Peace, A Mindful Path to a Nonviolent World. And the thing that really inspired me to write a book was finally, after being an activist for about 20 years, getting in touch with what the root cause is of our collective crisis and so much of our personal suffering. It's kind of astounding to me that I, I spent all that time as an activist not knowing what the root cause was. And, uh, and this isn't really original to me. I'm not the one who came up with, the first one to come up with this idea, but it hit me at a really deep level that this is the root cause. And that is the belief in separateness. The belief that we as human beings are separate from each other, from other species, and from the earth, and from the divine, from God, from spirit, whatever you want to call that, from our spiritual essence. And it just makes so much sense to me that that's where every war starts. You know, all of the different wars the interpersonal wars, the war against the earth. You know, it's this separateness. And it's a deep wound. It's a part of the worldview that, we, that we're immersed in. The dominant worldview is 
so much based on separateness. And so it's 